This is the first explosive moment of the Hamza Yusuf Premiership here in Scotland. That news in the last few minutes that Kate Forbes, his main leadership rival in that very bitter contest uh, to replace Nicola Sturgeon, has rejected a demotion within his newly formed cabinet, a cabinet that is still being put together and shaped as we speak. Uh, we understand that Kate Forbes was offered the demotion from finance secretary in charge of Scotland's economy to the reduced position of rural affairs secretary. That was something we're told she swiftly declined. She has resigned from the Scottish Government and will return to the back benches. There is no doubt this is a huge blow for Hamza Youssef and does not go a great deal towards healing those rifts that have been endured for the SNP over the course of the last couple of weeks. It was a really tough, bitter contest between Hamza Youssef and Kate Forbes. Let's remember, tens of thousands of SNP supporters voted for Kate Forbes during that contest. Uh, she got 48% of the vote overall uh, and... It was one of the big tasks for Hamza Yusuf. How will he reunite that party and bring Kate Forbes into the fold? Well, tonight we know that is not happening and that will be a big moment for the thousands of SNP supporters who did back that moment for change. They said continuity will not cut it and tonight Kate Forbes is gone. This has been a day of procedure. Uh, here at Holyrood with Hamza Yusuf formally uh, being voted in as the next First Minister. A surreal moment watching his uh, predecessor, uh, Nicola Sturgeon, sitting on those back benches uh, in this building behind me. Uh, and here's a flavour of what he had to say in that victory speech. After 9-11, we're not easy for Muslims growing up in Scotland or indeed across the UK. I've lost count of how many times my identity, my loyalty to Scotland. The only country I have ever and will ever call home has been questioned over the years. There was a time not all that long ago when I felt I simply did not belong here in Scotland. To, grow, to go from there to now leading the government as Scotland's sixth First Minister, I hope sends a strong message to every single person out there who feels that they don't belong. And as First Minister, I will always fight for your rights and where possible I will do everything I can to advance them. Significant policy issues for Hamza Youssef who we just watched giving that speech. How will he tackle the quandary of independence uh, furthering that cause that Nicola Sturgeon has not done during the course of her more than 3,000 days in office. It's understood uh, Mr Youssef will be speaking to the Prime Minister in the coming hours for that first conversation. I asked uh, Mr Youssef, the new First Minister, earlier on whether independence would be brought up in that conversation and it would not be a surprise to tell you that that will be forming part of those talks. But it is the moment, Kate Forbes, not being part of this new era, this new government here in Scotland. She will be joining Nicola Sturgeon on the back benches.